plane run back home. <gasps> oh my god! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel! If you're here, my name is Medita, and today I'm in Brighton. We arrived at 5 o'clock and we're leaving tomorrow morning already again. So I have today evening and tomorrow early morning in the city, which is not a lot of time, we all know that. But I'm still I'm trying to go to the bookstore. I'm in the hotel room right now with my sister and my brother. Obviously, I'm here to go to the bookstore. Duh, like there's no other reason for me to ever leave my house. Even though I shouldn't be buying any new books, I'm gonna try to record as much as I can and show you what I'm doing here for the... I would say like eight hours I'm here. Before I start though, I read this book today. It's called Every Summer After. I started on the airplane and then I finished in the car ride to the hotel and I did not like it. This book is a getting a two stars. I hated the plot twist. I hated the ending. Made no sense to me. I don't like Percy, the main character. She was super annoying. I also brought two other books because duh, I read a lot and I need to read here too. So I'm gonna show you really quickly the two books I brought with me. We brought One of Us Is Lying because I haven't read this book and I need to read this book. This is a thriller. I'm excited. Can you see the book, Caius? Yes. And I also brought Let's To The Lost. We already know this. I haven't finished this. I'm so far behind in this book, but I brought my annotation tools, but I'm probably gonna read this on the plane run back home. Okay, slay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> My siblings collected a few shells. It's this one. Well, this one's good. It's this one, which is really pretty. Cute, right? And now we're just waiting for um, my parents to arrive and then we're gonna go eat dinner somewhere. I already looked up bookstores, so I definitely know where some are. I'm definitely going tomorrow because today I think I'm gonna miss it. It's gonna be closed at 8 o'clock. So I'm really excited. I never really know what to do with voiceovers. So here is just like what we did. We walked around. We tried to find a park for the dog because, you know, dogs go to the bathroom or like in the park. But um, sadly, dogs can't go here, so... It was kind of a fail, and so we had to walk even more, and then we found a location to eat dinner, and it was quite delicious and good, and the view was nice too. Look at the sunset. It's so pretty. Um, I just wanted to say that I have giant blisters on my foot, and I can't walk anymore, and now I'm going to have to borrow my sister's shoes <sighs> because my feet are bleeding. I can feel it. I'm going to charge my phone, and then we're going to go to the pier. My feet are not doing well. Live, love, love, guys. Live, love, love. We missed everything because we're late and we're not good with time. So we're just going to walk around and don't do anything. We're probably going to get kicked off any second, so that's great. Let's just walk to the front of the pier and see what's going on. I mean, the view is still nice, so... Pretty! I think someone broke into the casino thing and that's that sound. Not me having to take photo booth pictures by myself because I'm alone. Slay. We're going to bed and then I'm going to be reading a bit still before I fall asleep and then I'll probably put on a CD. We have to share a bed though, all yeah. three of us together and it's like a small, I'm going to show you, okay wait, it's put the a, feet away. It's a very it's tiny bed. bed for three, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. So good night! So we wanted to go to Gold's Bar, but it's sadly still closed. I forgot to check the opening hours. It opens at 11. It's 10 o'clock. So we're gonna go to the good old Waterstones. That's the only open shop now. Cool. Your destination is on the left. We all know I love my fake scenarios, okay? So here's a little fake scenario coming in where I picture this. You are on vacation in London for a good two weeks. On the last day, you decide to go to the bookstore because you're like, I want to pick up some new books before I leave. So you go to the bookstore, right? You see at the cash register this really cute guy, nerdy glass. And you're like, oh, he's kind of cute, but whatever. I'm only here for one evening and I already have to leave today. So you go buy your books, right? You're having fun at the bookstore. You keep seeing him glancing over at you and like, oh my God, he is kind of cute, but you have to leave. 
So when you leave, everything is fine. You arrive at the airport and you notice where the heck is my phone. And you realize you left your phone at the bookstore. And you're like, what the heck? What am I supposed to do? So you call with your mom's phone. Guess who picks up? Ding, 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 ding. The cute guy, obviously. And he's like, hello, who is this? And you're like, hi, I'm sorry. I was at the bookstore earlier. And you just picked up on my phone because I left it there by accident. And he's like, oh oh my god, it was you, I was wondering if the phone belonged to you, and you're like, oh my god, wait, he remembers me, that is so cute, you're like, yeah, ha ha ha, uh, I don't know what happened, I just kind of left it there, and I don't know what to do, I'm at the airport, and I'm going back to my home crunch, and he's like, oh, uh, do you want me to send it to you via mail, and you're like, no, uh, it's fine, I'm coming back to London anyways in three months, so I can just pick it up then, and I'll use uh, my extra phone at the same time because for some reason you have two phones I don't really know how that is just like roll with it roll with it okay so he's like oh okay I'll keep your phone safe for three months you're like thank you now guess what over those three months you guys exchange phone number because you're like I want to keep him texting him so I know that he has my phone and he doesn't sell it online because do I trust this guy in the beginning no obviously not but over those three months you kind of start trusting him he starts trusting you you guys even FaceTime and you get closer you exchange your different opinions you guys notice you have the same hobbies like the same books you're like oh my god is this true love is this romance is this destiny was I meant to leave my phone there and the answer is yes the three months pass you go back to London he picks you up at the airport okay this is super cute and you're like oh my god hi uh uh you're like i'm here for my phone but i'm kind of also here to see you and he's like oh my god what you're here to see me want to go on to drink a coffee together like a little date you're like yes obviously i would love to so you guys go to have a little coffee date and since you're already connected over those three months while texting you guys kiss that evening you're like oh my god this is true love like i love this man i love this guy like we are meant to be together and he's obviously a relationship guy you're a relationship girl so you're like do we want to date i don't know i'm going back to my home country in two weeks so you guys make the most out of two weeks you go everywhere together you have fun you celebrate you go on more adventures you go camping you watch the stars you do everything right but then you have to leave and you're super sad you're like i don't know if i can be in a relationship with you these two weeks were so much fun but i have my phone now i have to go back to my life in my own country and you're like can i do this and he's like i don't know if i can let you go you're like you have to and then you go back passing two weeks and guess who knocks at your door him he visited you and he's like i can't let you go i can't let you go so you're like what yes we have to try the long distance relationship so you guys try the long distance relationship it obviously works you then proceed to go to college in london so you guys get together and happy ending I don't know if it's just me, but bookstores are the only reason I buy books outside of my comfort zone. Also, ignore, please, my filming skills. I know I filmed this in slow motion. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about my horrible filming skills. I mess up all the time. There's Twisted Lies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard. I know that author. Back to the topic. I was going to say, usually when I go to bookstores, I don't go there with the intent to buy a specific book because most of the times they do not have that book. I don't know why that is, but whenever I look for a book at the bookstore, I do not find it versus when I just go in there, I find some bangers some really amazing books oh my god i love it every single time i'm like oh my god this book seems so interesting and i would have never picked it up if i saw it on meaty mobs hashtag my favorite secondhand website or even on amazon i only buy new books at bookstores because i'm so intimidated by the covers and them being on a table that's a thing i do on one hand this is good because i can extend my reading knowledge and i will further my genre flavors and you know all that stuff on the other hand, I spend even more money because I buy books that I would never usually buy. I don't really know if that's so positive or not. I would see it as a positive thing. You might not. I love it. I love discovering new books at bookstores, especially when, they're, when they just came out. I was really dumb, so I went into Goldsboro, and there was this Winnie the Pooh edition book. So pretty. It cost 1500 pounds obviously not affordable for any person on this planet but then i was in that store and i felt so bad going in there and not buying anything so i bought a book <laughs> so i bought um to paradise and back no to paradise anyways i bought three other books i'm going to show them in a second it's so full we're waiting for our parents to pick us up and they're not here i don't know where they are watch them home let me show you it's back to the fly white too so we're gonna we got my year of rest and relaxation by otessa moshfag I mean, everybody read this. I'm really behind. I got finally my first Brandon Sanderson book, which is Rhythm of War, which is part one of the Stormlight. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't read the rest of the line down there. It says part.
card one in white. So it was like, oh my god, part one, book one, right? No, bitch. The Stormlight Archive, book four. Book four? Gosh, okay, so I did not buy the correct book, which means I can't read this. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books before this one. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. And then we get Once Upon a Fever. This is a YA fantasy book. Since the world fell sick, sisters Peyton and Annie Dark have lived in the hospital of King Jude's where their father is a mythic. And then there's mom's apparently sick. And so they follow a boy with gold skin who is held prisoner in the hospital to help her mother. But I'm going to be reading probably uh, one of us is lines. A geek, a jock, a criminal, a princess, a murderer. I haven't watched the show yet, so. I am well aware. I am well aware that I'm not the perfect person for vlogs because I really don't know how to film them. Someone please give me tips. I mean, I tried to film a London vlog and it was just so... I had footage for like three minutes. Three minutes? What is that? But like, I also didn't really do a lot in London. I just walked around and bought books, but I have a book hunt plan for that. So be ready for that video because I definitely bought more books than I did in Brighton. What I wanted to say is, I still hope you kind of enjoyed this little vlog and i did indeed forget to film my outro because i was just sitting and reading one of us is lying which is honestly super good i really love that book i don't like nobody can tell me that book isn't good so yeah i hope you enjoyed this little vlog and if you did uh give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of our content you can subscribe i know this isn't my usual content and this also isn't the perfect vlog but i was not going to waste this footage so you still get this footage i hope you all have a great day evening night morning whatever time zone and i hope you're enjoying yourself read a book you know you can read one of us is lying or any of the books i bought or any of the books you saw in this video if you spot some new books you want to buy in the bookstore go buy some new books again happy day have a great day happy reading and see you next time bye